Hey everyone, so hope you all are doing great. So from today onwards, I will again start making videos and what I will do is since I ran out of content uh, because already everything that I know about gardening I have already posted. I will post also new videos but along with that uh, I have decided to post daily videos uh, based on what I am doing in my garden like uh, for example a garden journal whatever I am doing in my garden and you can see the results also uh, they are wonderful I think uh, let me show you up close up so you can see all these are dahlias and just look at the color and size of each and every blooms I have counted there are over 100 flower birds and uh, means just look at the colors and I also wanted to let you know that I do everything organically so everything in my garden is from organic fertilizer and pesticides there are many others uh, but they dry just like this one you can see um, and also look at the stick how much length they are having they are perfect for any flower vase I think because just look at them why not and uh, in my garden they are staying for more than I think seven to uh, eight days just look at this color I think it's so pretty um, there are many uh, dahlias in other sections also you can see a tiny one I think it's really cute uh, and also beautiful I don't have any other language to say but I am really happy with the dahlia produ production I am having this year just look at the white color in this one so let me show you some other flowers as well uh, you can see there are many other flowers that are blooming right now these are the layers of cosmos there are over hundreds of flowers in this particular bed and they are uh, already started to seed so I need to deadhead them as soon as possible because I want more flowers from them uh, it's a very important step you can also collect these seeds and keep, uh, store them if you want to uh, sow them next year look at the calendulas and asters I think they are looking so pretty right now together I think the color combinations that have occurred over here is also pretty uh, just look at the vibrant color and you can see they are wet because I have just watered them look at the size of the asters and I want to also let you know that the color that you are seeing is not the, not the original color this is uh, I don't know why the camera is not able to catch some colors in my, <laughs> with the original colors of the flower there are some rutbachias over there and uh, some antirhinum you can see uh, they're really pretty some vervenas vervenas are also doing very well in this year and these are some marigolds I also want to let you uh, know about these flowers these are looking absolutely gorgeous and one of the most unique color uh, of flowers in my garden they're I don't know they are all shades of blue and the colors are changing if you see that uh, the camera is rolling you will be able to see some color difference you will see this this is a color and if I move towards this will become more lighter in color means the colors are not coming in the frame right now but they are so pretty uh, these are scenery areas so if you want you can just plant them in the garden they are easy to grow and easy to maintain just keep in mind they are very very uh, water required in these plants and this is an overview of my garden right now I think it's looking so gorgeous um, I can't be more happy there are more flowers to bloom and also uh, yes look at the lime tree uh, there are no leaves but the tree is uh, loaded with blooms so and these are some tomato plants and it's a very pretty view so I hope you all are having a great day and I will see you all in my next video. Thanks a lot.